assume most of them enjoy that you kind of have like 12 units that you control and then you have like three heroes uh while in starcraft 2 people enjoy to and yeah warcraft 3 is like one base maybe two base and in starcraft 2 people enjoy like four or five six bases 25 warp gates two robos three stargates 200 supply you attack at three different angles. You have a war prism on one side. You have like a 12 zealot run by on the other side. And then there is micro, but it's like very different, right? Compared to Warcraft 3. In Warcraft 3, you have 12 units and every single one of them is like precious. It's your, it's your precious one. And you try to keep them alive. Uh, like in Starcraft 2, you, it's very different, right? The way you micro and macro, so... Both these games are like, I don't know, can't really compare, I think. But uh, yeah, I think I think Stormgate when... I mean, I played it on stream, right? It, I played it a lot during the time where it was like open to everyone. Like that's the version that I'm mostly talking about. I thought it was fun during that. But it was very, like, the game is it wasn't done, right? There was like placeholder for everything. No tier 3 uh vanguard didn't have like all their their abilities on the top while the infernals i think they had all but one or something so like can't really can't really judge <coughs> i think they because so in that version creep camps were kind of i think in a weird spot they did overhaul the whole like creep camp scenarios like the way it works i think it's a little bit similar to hots now where you like you capture the point and then it does something for you with every death comes honor with honor redemption but yeah when uh, when they I, th I i i assume that the next playing phase is gonna be the open access, right? Or what? Early access, early early access, or whatever they call it. And I think it's gonna be open to everyone. Like if if we are allowed, or I, then I will play it again, right? And stream it. Like I will see if I still like the game or if I think it's still fun. Yeah, that's how I see it. And like in terms of balance, uh, I mean, yeah, obviously there were balance flaws, but as I said, like the game, it was way too early to really judge. And if if the game is in such an early state and you give people a lot of time to keep playing in that in that build, then they will find like all disgusting things, right? Like whatever is most OP and like all these small things, like they will <laughs> they will screw the win rate as much as they can if you give them enough time. But yeah, since so they added the Celestial Armada or whatever they are called. I'm not exactly sure what the third faction is called. I didn't play much. I like during that time, I I, don't know, I played like I I tested it basically, right? In custom games, and I played like one game or two games. Because I if if I can't stream it, I wasn't I don't know. I didn't want to play it that much if I can't use it at all on stream. Infernal OP. Maybe we play a Protoss again. The Celestial guys. I think they are similar to Protoss. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Like, they are like a mix out of everything again, right? Similar. I feel like Infernal was a mix out of everything as well. Vanguard is like the only like typical. I feel like Vanguard was the only typical one they had. Hmm. <clears throat> 
I think overall though like uh, I think it's good that they gather a lot of feedback and so on I think that makes sense what, what people what they like what they don't like and so on but I think at the as I said like at the end of the day they like whatever vision they have for their game they should just go through with it otherwise you do like it's like drafting with five people and then everyone picks a zero and then you have no fucking synergy and the draft is dog shit together just uh just uh, go through with whatever they want to do and then if people don't like it well unlucky but there's a lot of games that people don't like and you will always you will always have some people that like it and like the rts market I mean, it's it's rather niche, anyways, right? It's rather small for the most part. I mean, StarCraft and then Age of Empires, and then even and then even those are not like compared to other esports, they're rather small, I would say. And then Warcraft Three is smaller than the other two, anyways. Yeah. The fuck is this four man gank? Oh, what the fuck are they doing? We're dead. <laughs> Everyone onto me. Okay, okay. Alright, alright, alright. You got me, you got me. Like, Warcraft 3 has very different mechanics on RTS, right? Because you get. Pu you get punished for building too many units in Warcraft 3. You lose money. Like, you pay taxes. So you are inclined to stay on 50 supply for a long time, right? You wanna kill him, Anzo? Like, for me, overall, like, I mean, I played both games a lot, right? Warcraft 3 and StarCraft 2, but overall, I did enjoy StarCraft more. 
like the, the game uh i think warcraft is a great a very very good rts as well though but like item luck and like the damage rolls on units and so on that's like something i i didn't really enjoy uh but i started playing the game and i didn't know better so when starcraft 2 came out and i got the like i got the chance to spam it i really realized that it's like something i i enjoy more but yeah i still uh, honestly i kind of watch more warcraft 3 than starcraft 2 though hmm. we have to hurry if we want to play this Uh, bottom is bleeding. Did he walk the other day? I feel like he walked. So he didn't borrow, right? <clears throat> Choose a town. That's like in uh, in StarCraft. There's a lot of things I really disliked as well, right? Like towards the end of it, like they made some really, really questionable choices in terms of balance. over the course of time warcraft 3 balance i think was weird as well at times like, many issues as well our enemy took out a war. Talents upgrade your hero in a multitude of ways. Choose one now. Don't have ancestral. I guess they don't have a uh, tracer here. Yeah. They're out, right? I think they're out. 
Let them fall. We could have, like, if they walked up while I clicked, uh, we could have gotten a double kill there. But... Hello! <laughs> uh. is respawning into insta int again bro i'll catch the wave then jayna almost killed us all there it's very dangerous when that like once she gets uh, her e off I grow several people it gets really scary Shall we see who gathers enough tribute this time?
They want the keep, we have to give it. We need 20. Oh my god. Imagine he had arrow and Jaina ins like that. Yeah, I'm fine. And so the curse ends. Perhaps not. Actually, maybe we end without. Maybe we can end without. If we're so fucking far behind, anyways. We have caught him to tank. Yeah, the Jaina. Okay, Alarak redeemed himself with a kill on Jaina. Actually, we probably would end even if he doesn't do that. <laughs> Until next time, we'll see you in the Nexus. MVP. Wait, did Alarak solo kill Jaina on top though? Maybe he did during the like um during the cluster fuck with Tracer and uh and mid. Maybe he did solo kill Jaina actually. Because then he definitely redeemed himself. All right, that's it for tonight, guys. We are one win short of uh, 50 wins, but we got match fixed so much. Uh, I'm, I can't be asked playing more. Uh, and we did have tournament game earlier, and I was drinking last night, so there's a lot of 